What's up guys? It's Kung Fu Heathen here. Hey, I'm just going to give you a quick update. I uh, made a mistake when I did the Lord of the Rings card opening the other night. I had my speaker too close to the microphone. So unfortunately, I'm just going to do a quick voiceover and still show you guys what we pulled. Then got a couple more things to come tonight as well that we've been working on. But hang in there. And uh, just wanted to let everyone know, thank you so much for supporting and following the page and sharing it as well. I still want you guys to know that the giveaway is still on and uh, we're just we're just trying to hit our goal so let's get it and let me show you what we did actually how about that Woo! so yeah I mean pretty much tried to start doing the box opening uh, everything was going good until we actually went back and realized that we had the speaker just too close to the microphone so that was unfortunate so but anyways, as we go throughout the opening, um, me and my fiance, that's the beautiful Ashley, she's dressed up as an elf, which is appropriate, but we like to do a little, um, you know, Rochambeau, or we, we like to kind of pick on each other over who's going to go first on the openings, and so she usually has the better look, and I, I always like to you know kind of let her handle it because it just usually benefits both of us if we do that and so we decided to do a little paper rock scissors here i guess in certain parts of places they call it rochambeau but nonetheless we uh we go through a little bit of paper rock scissors and i actually ended up getting her but in the end i decided i was just gonna let her open the first one and so with with this set of cards magic is a card game in its own right it's very similar to Pokemon, but what makes this set special is that they've incorporated the Lord of the Rings into the multiverse of their characters and all. And I don't know how many of you like the Lord of the Rings, but me personally, I absolutely adore the Lord of the Rings. It is a very great story. And I noticed throughout you know, the card pulling process and opening packs that they're very very precise with the characters that they're portraying from the movies themselves oh that was a nice shot right there but one thing i did notice which was different to how we've usually opened magic cards is that characters that are usually legendary for some reason now their cards will appear over all different uh types of rarity you know throughout the packaging and all and so it's um i don't know it's kind of interesting it's an interesting dynamic but yeah we just you know sat around had a good time and basically opened the cards and all and um the cool part about the lord of the rings is that they did stick with the fact that the entire story revolves around rings and so rings were made and created they gave three to the elves seven to the dwarves and then nine to men who craved power the most but the dark lord sauron he actually created a ring behind everyone else's back and so that's what ended up being the one ring it's the one that controlled all of the other rings and so it's a very uh it's a very interesting story. I think a lot of it digs into the morals of just who people are in general and just, you know, how, how everyone reacts to things such as power, you know, wealth, uh, objectivity, materialistic items, you know, anything like that. So, I, I, I you know... I thought it was always a pretty good story and then I'll show you guys some of the cards we get here in a minute as well I really enjoyed how they incorporated a lot of the creatures and they also incorporated a lot of the smaller characters in there as well you know and at some some of the points too they actually brought in characters that were from the Hobbit book and the two stories are related but this one you know the lord of the rings necessarily it revolves around frodo taking the ring back to mount doom you know into mordor to destroy it when the hobbit that's the story of his uncle bilbo actually getting the ring and keeping it and prolonging his life and 
you know, actually taking advantage of a lot of the positivities that come with it. But at the same time, it caused him great strife and grief. And so it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's an incredible story because it just shows maybe that the nature of uh, beings who care for each other is a lot deeper than, you know, some people think. But Ashley was just really super interested in it as well. And it seemed to, it seemed to really go good. And You know, just some of the characters and stuff that show up are amazing. Like, for instance, of course, right off the gate, we got a a Sauron card, uh, Saruman, and then we got, you know, Baradur, which is where Sauron's castle is and all. But it um, it really connects to the story story pretty well, and I felt that it, it did a pretty good job. Now, I did notice that there were... Um, certain cards that maybe had nothing to do with the story at all but that's more for the mechanics of the game itself and so it's something you have to remember um they don't stick to the storyline exactly you know no, no movies or anything do that but i will go ahead and call it that i bet they'll release a harry potter themed set here soon i swear on my life they'll do it like i'm putting money in the bank baby So what'd you guys think of that? Was that cool or not? I could have explained it a little better. Yeah, I'm probably sure. But anyways, you should definitely go look into it. It's a fantastic story. It's a fantastic game. And you can always have a good time with somebody that doesn't understand it. So as always explained, make sure you go like, follow, and share. All platforms, Kung Fu Heathen. Actually, except for YouTube. But nonetheless, you get the point. And until next time later on this evening, peace!